The purpose of the cow horse class is to show that horse's ability to control a cow in an arena. It's not cutting. Even though we box on the end, that, that cow horse is completely different from a cutting horse. You may see the horse do both, but that's not his purpose. His purpose is to come control that cow. The handier, the more athletic he is, it's more exciting to watch. Runs down in, in a controlled situation in the bridle where he's soft in the bridle. You, you don't necessarily expect to see these horses running on a full drape like you do in the reining sometimes because you want these horses to, they're a bridle horse. It's a reined cow horse and reined is the key phrase there. We want to show that these horses can be reined. So you want them to run down, uh, be responsive to that rider and stop. You want them to put their hocks into the ground deep and stop hard. You want them to spin hard to show how quick they are to get around to do that job. Running the circles, it's the same thing as any event. You want to show that you have control of that horse. He can go from slow circles to fast circles. He can be rated. Any horse in any event needs to be able to rate at whatever it's doing. It, it's a safety factor and as a, as a useful tool on the ranch, it's an important factor for a horse to be able to be controlled. When you get into the, the cow work, the boxing, and the beautiful thing about the boxing is now it has come up as its own event. To let that person that wants to work a cow and get to be more involved and do another event at the show but they don't feel comfortable enough going down the fence, boxing is a wonderful event. The purpose of boxing is for that horse to get, get uh, tied into that cow and, and get hooked up with that cow so that he knows what he's doing and working and get some of the air knocked out of this cow before you go down the fence. You want to see a horse, once he gets control, be willing to go down the fence with the cow, but at the same time, you expect that rider to, to be able to read that cow enough to know to get the air out of the cow so he does not create a dangerous situation. You know, it's, you, you add points by having a fresher, harder running cow, but you, same thing, speed, speed can be a danger as well, and so that's, that's up to that rider to show us how well he can read a cow. So coming in and, and after you've done your turn each way on the fence, then you want to come in and circle the cow once each way. It's a very difficult thing. You don't realize that but without any help of any fence or anything else, it's just your horse controlling that cow. We want to see that horse get up there shoulder to the shoulder with the cow. This is the safest place for the horse to be where he has more control of the situation. And, and the other factor that plays into this is this is the end of the run. The cow's getting tired. The horse is getting tired. So safety is a very important factor at this point. The style's different from the reining. I know everyone likes to watch the reiners and how exciting they are, and they are very exciting. You know, in the cow horse, you're not going to see 30-foot slides. You don't want to in the cow horse. It is based on how that horse in the reining is showing you his ability to stop and turn and be very maneuverable and very athletic. And then with the cow comes in, he sh he's taking that and applying that and show you why he's good at doing those maneuvers. Now if you have a, lo a long slide on your cow horse, and, and for example, when you go down the fence to turn that cow, the cow stops and turns, you want that horse to stop and turn with it. By the rule, that's, where, that's a, a, a positive score, and if he really controls a hard running cow, that's even a bigger score. But if he slides 30 feet, the well, length of a horse is roughly nine foot, so he's gonna have three points in penalties for just going by and sliding that far past that that cow and then he will have also lost control and the, the pattern will go from bad to worse. First off, I want to see exhibitors that know the rules. It is unpleasant to watch someone have a great horse, have a potentially great run and their lack of knowledge of the rules cost them their own problems. I've said before, let the judge do the placing, don't place the class yourself. Don't make, let me deal with the, with the scoring. Don't, don't make mistakes that you shouldn't be making. I always stress that all the rules in, in any event, but specifically in cow horse, are really based on safety and, and your control of that horse and how to con safely control that cow. The cow, the beautiful thing, the cow has no respect for anybody. It, he doesn't care who you are, or what your horse is, or what they've done. He's just there trying to figure out how to make his life simple. So it's exciting watching a really aggressive cow get worked by a horse. The exciting thing, there is no such thing as a perfect run in the cow horse or reining, you know, or the dry work. It's, that cow is, is the X factor. And that's what puts the excitement in it every time. 